Hello students, we will today study the real number and their decimal expansion. As I told you earlier that a number in the form of p by q where both p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 is a rational number. Now there are two types of representation of rational number. Rational number either it can be represented in the form of p by q or it can be represented in the decimal form. When the rational number p by form of the rational number can also be expressed in the decimal form and decimal form of rational number can also be expressed in p by q form. That means they can change their forms. Now the thing is the decimal expansion of a rational number which is in the form of p by q are of two types terminating and non terminating repeating or recurring either that p by q form on division. What I mean to say, let us take an example that we are taking the number say yeah, 12, 17 by 12. This is the very number. And we will divide it 17. 12, 5, decimal, 0, 4, 48. 2, 0, 12, 8, 0, 72, 8, 0, 6, 72, again, 8, 0, 6, 72. So, again a what we are finding that this division process is not completed what i mean to say that remainder is not becoming zero a remainder is always there moreover one more thing we are finding that after 1.41 the digit 6 starts repeating if it happens then it is known as the terminating decimal presentation of the rational number. So 17 by 12 is equal to we can write 1.416 recurring over 6. So this is the non-terminating repeating. Non-terminating repeating form of rational number or real number. The next one is the terminating form of real number. See, real number or rational number. See, now we will do another question. 8, 17. 17 by 8. 17 by 12 was a rational number. 17 by 8 is a rational number in the form of P by Q. Its decimal presentation, 7 to the 16. 1.0180261640040 what we are finding in this case when this rational number 17 by 18 is expressed in the decimal form that means when we divide 17 by 8 the remainder becomes 0. So what we can say that the rational number 17 by 18, 8, 8, the second one can be written as 2.125. It has got a terminating decimal presentation. So decimal presentation of a rational number can either be terminating or non-terminating repeating. So terminating decimal, there will be no dot 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 sign or there will be no 
recurring sign over any digit after the decimal. And non terminating repeating, definitely there will be the recurring sign. So dot 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 means non terminating. And if we are putting a recurring sign, it means it is again dot dot dot. That means 1.416666 dot 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 dot. It will go over. But here you see 17 by 8, 2.125, it goes completely. Remainder becomes zero. So the decimal presentation of rational number either be terminating or non terminating, repeating. Now the thing is, we just we will start doing the exercise 1.3 today. Directly I am coming to the exercise. Question number 1.3 Write the following in the decimal form and say what kind of decimal expansion it has. Three questions we will take from question number one to explain 36 by 100. What it is? Rational number it is. In the form of P by Q. And decimal form you have to write. And say what kind of decimal expansion it has. This is the very first question. So if you divide 36 by 100, you will get 0 0.36. There is no dot 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 sign. If you divide 36, uh, 36 by 100, the remainder will become 0 and the value will be 0 0.36. So it has got a terminating decimal presentation which we have got by actual division process. The second one we will take that is 1 by 11 we'll, we will divide in this way What we are finding, the process goes on. So 1 by 11 can be written as, 1 by 11 can be written as 0 0.09 recurring over 9. So we will say it is non-terminating repeating. Or you can simply write, you can write repeating. Instead of writing non terminating, you can write repeating. So this is terminating, this one is repeating. In this way, we can solve the, all the questions given in question number one by actual division process. We will divide the numerator by the denominator and then we will see whether it is terminating or non-terminating repeating. Second one, question number two, we know the value of, question says, we know the value of 1 by 7 is equal to 0 0.142857 recurring over all the digits after this one. Can you predict the value of 2 by 7, 3 by 7, 4 by 7 and 5 by 7 and 6 by 7. So the question is 1 by 7 is a rational number whose decimal expansion is non terminating repeating. And you have to calculate the value of this. Just one I will show the rest of the questions you will do you by yourself. If it is 2 by 7, we are, it means 2 into 1 by 7, 2 into 0 0.142857, it 
you just multiply it by 2 So this is the, no. that is what if we are doing, we are multiplying the value of 1 by 7, though it is in a non-terminating repeating form, simply you multiply it with 2, in this case for 3, 4, 5, 6 and likewise. So we have written 2 into the value that we are given with, it is the given value. We multiply it with 2, we are getting this much. We, in this case, we will simply multiply the value 3 into 1 by 7, that is 3 into 0 0.142857 recurring. And after multiplication, whatever value you get, that will be your required answer. And in, in the same way, 4 by 7, 5 by 7, 6 by 7. This is, this was question number 2 and now we are coming to express question number 3. Decimal forms of rational numbers are given and you have to convert them into the P by Q form. Decimal expansions are given and we will convert it into P by Q form. Question number 3. Suppose we are given with 0 0.6 recovery. First question. The second question says 0 0.47 recovery over 7. And the third one is 0 0.001. Now in order to find out the P by Q form of this decimal expansions of rational number, I would like to tell there are two methods. One is method and other one is the shortcut method that you can easily adopt. But in the exam, when you are writing your paper, you can do the shortcut method for your verification. In the class exams, in your exam paper, you definitely go for exact process by supposing x, both of the things I will discuss right now. Suppose it is, you have to find out p by q form, very easy, the first question. We will remove this decimal sign, we will remove this recurring sign, we will get 6 divided by, recurring is occurring over one digit, recurring is, is there, this bar sign is there, which occurs over one digit, so it is one nine. And the answer will be, simply its answer will be two by three. So in this, in this case, okay, take the third one first. Now remove the decimal, remove the recurring, what we are left with? One divided by. After decimal, over how many digits? The recurring is three digits. So you will simply write 999. So 1 by 999 is the P by Q form of this decimal form. We will adopt the method 9 right now. We will see how to do by using method. See the first question and the third question of question number 3 is pure recurring in nature. What is pure recurring and what is mixed recurring? If the recurring sign occurs on each and every digit after the decimals, it is known as the pure recurring. And the, in this case, the recurring is occurring only on one digit, that is 7. In this case, the process, shortcut process says, you remove the decimal, remove the recurring, you write 47, you subtract the number Digit which is not having recurring sign. So after decimal and before recurring there is a digit that is 4. You subtract it from 47 and divide it by over how many digits the recurring sign is? 1. 
So you will write one nine. And after decimal and before raping, there is one digit, so you will write zero. So 43 by 90 is the decimal expansion of the number 0 0.47. Now, method that you have to understand this question let x equals to 0 0.6 referring over 6. It means we can write 0 0.666 dot 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 up to infinity. We will, we will multiply both sides by 10. So it will be 10x and this side it will be 6.666 dot 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 dot. As many 6 as you like you can put after the decimal sign. Now this is 1 and this is your equation 2. Now we will write on subtracting 1 from 2 we get 10x minus x, 10x minus x is equal to 6.666 dot 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 minus 6 0. 666 dot dot dot. If you subtract it, you will get 6 and here it will be 9x. Therefore, x is equal to 6 by 9. That is, in the simplest form, it is 2 by 3. See, therefore, 0 0.6 bar equals to 2 by 3. So, this is the method and this is the shortcut rule. In exam, you follow the method. You suppose and then let us suppose the mixed we are doing 0 0.47 recurring over 7 we will first write let x is equal to 0 0.47 recurring or x equals to 0 0.4777 dot 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 then we will do 100, we will multiply it is with 100, 100 x equals to 47.777 dot 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 dot, call it as equation 1, you again multiply this, this is equation 1 and this one is equation 2, then again you multiply equation number 1 with 10, so 10 x is equal to 4.777 dot 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 it is 3 now we will write on subtracting 3 from 2 we get what we are getting 100x minus 10x is equal to 47.777 dot 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 minus 4.777 dot 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 that is 90x equals to 43 or x equals to 43 by 90 therefore 0 0.47 recurring over 7 can be written as 43 by 90 so this is the question number third, 3 and the third one also you can do in the same way. It is a case of pure recurring. Come to question number 4. Yes. See students. Question number 4 we are discussing. The question says express 0 0.99999 dot 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 in P by Q form. Are you surprised with the answer? With your teacher and classmates discuss why this answer makes sense. This is in our practical when we do the calculations if this value 0 0.99999 dot 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 it comes approximately it is equals to 1 
Now, why, how, that I will explain. This question can be written as 0 0.9 recurring over 9. Now, let x equals to 0 0.9 recurring or x equals to 0 0.999 dot 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 dot. So, 10x equals to, what we are doing? We are multiplying both sides by 10. 10x equals to 9.999 dot 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 dot. On subtracting, this is 1 and this is 2. 1 from 2, we get 10x minus x equals to 9.999 dot 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 minus 0 0.999 dot 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 This is or 9x equals to 9 or x equals to 1. Therefore, 0 0.999 dot 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 can be written as 1. So this is the thing. Why the 0 0.999? will be equals to 1. We just say it is very closely equal to 1 and like this we can prove that the value of 0 0.9 recurring is nothing but its value is 1. 0 0.9 recurring over 9 equals to 1. Question number 5. This one is question number 5. See, I have done it previously because it is a very long division. Right? Question number five. Can you, what can the maximum number of digits be in the repeating block of the digits in which decimal expansion is 1 by 17? Perform the division and check the answer. Now, before answering this, you see our Question is 1 by 17 and 17 is a prime number. We are div dividing 1 by 17. In this case, keep it in your mind, the number of digits in the block can never be more than 17. Can, cannot be more than 17. It can be anything any number, max, so maximum number of digits within the recurring block will be 16 in this case. And by actually the maximum number of digits in the recurring block will be Yes, will be 16 as it is shown by performing the actual division and then it will show this division 0 0.058823529411764 and recurring over the entire thing and if you count the number of digits within the recurring block you will find that there are 16 digits well question number 6 look at the several examples of rational number in the form of p by q where P and Q are integers with no common factors other than 1 and having terminating decimal represent, having terminating decimal representations or expansions, what can you, what you guess the property of Q? Remember, if a rational number 
is having a terminating decimal presentation P by Q. Question number six. P by Q is having terminating decimal presentation. That means when we divide P by Q, the process of division comes to an end and remember becomes zero. So that is known as the terminating decimal presentation. And P and Q are in its and, and here P and Q are co-prime. That means they are not having any common factor except one. Now, what is the requirement? In this case, the requirement Q must be in the form of 2 to the power m into 5 to the power n where m and n are non negative integers now students what I mean to say try to understand whatever rational number you are given with first verify whether they are in its standard form that means whether P and Q both are co-prime to each other and then take Q you do the prime factorization of Q and if the prime factors of Q consists of prime factors of Q is made up of only two only five or two and five both then the decimal presentation of the rational number p by q will have a terminating form so this is your question number six you can verify this you can verify the questions given suppose we are taking an example that is uh, 17 upon 4 17 upon say 40 prime factors of the denominator this is the rational number co prime to each other prime factors of the denominator goes like this 2 20 2 10 2 5 so prime factors are 2 cube into 5 2 and 5 only it can be only 2, it can be only 5, it can be a combination of 2 and 5. If it happens, then it will have a terminating decimal presentation. So this was your question number 6, students. 7. Write three numbers whose decimal expansion are non-terminating and non-recurring. Very easy. In question number 7, we are required to find three numbers whose decimal expansion are non-terminating and non-recurring. Non-terminating, non-recurring, you have to give example of three numbers. Very easy students, you see what to do. You write any number 5.06006 the number that I have written on the board after the decimal 06, then 206, then 306, dot dot dot. And dot 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 says that it is non terminating and non repeating. That means you cannot put the recurring marks over any disk. Similarly, any number 0 0.25, 225, 2225, dot 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 dot. Like this. In finite, third one is 6.67677677. Likewise, you can give a number of irrational numbers 
or n number of num number n numbers which are non terminating non recurring all these three numbers are non terminating and non recurring question number 8 says find three irrational numbers between 5 by 7 and 9 by 7 5 by 7 is a rational number 9 by 11 so 9 by 11 it is also a rational number 5 by 7 and 9 by 11 we have to insert three irrational number between them now see question number 8 if you divide by actual division process you will find 5 by 7 has a non terminating repeating decimals and that is 0.714285 recurring over 714285 and 9 by 11 is equal to 0.81 and in between these two you have to give three irrational numbers how we will write after converting this the required three irrational numbers between 5 by 7 and 9 by 11 Ah, remember the irrational number will be greater than five by seven, and it should be smaller than nine by eleven. So zero point seven one. Suppose seventy one. We are consider two digits. We are taking zero point seven one, and here is zero point eight one. Seven one, and here is eight one. So you take seven two like this. First number. 0.72772772 dot dot dot. This is an irrational number, which is greater than the rational number 5 by 7, and smaller than the rational number 9 by 11. Second number you can manufacture by yourself. 0. Point, we can take 7374. 7 second digit. It was 2. Now you put 3. Seven three three, seven three 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 dot 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 dot. Third irrational number. You can take zero point eight zero, eighty one. See, it is it is seventy one. You can take zero point eight zero, eight eight zero, eight 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 zero. Only the thing you should keep in your mind that the number that we are inserting, the rational number that we are inserting. Must be greater than five by seven and smaller than nine by eleven. And for finding so, we have to find out the decimal expansions. And this is question number eight, students. Now the last question, question number nine. Classify the following as rationals or irrationals. I am writing over here. Question number nine, twenty-three. Two twenty-five zero point three seven nine six seven point four seven a four seven a dot 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 and the last one is one point one zero one zero zero one zero 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 one zero 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 one dot dot dot. So you have to identify whether these rational numbers are rational or irrational. Say this is irrational. Why? What is the reason you will give? Suppose in your question comes why it is irrational, you have to give the reason. You have to write that twenty three. Is not a perfect square. Twenty-three is not a perfect square. This is the reason. Two twenty-five rational. Why? Because two twenty-five is a perfect square of fifteen. 
If you take the square root of 225, you will get 15. This one, 0 0.3796. No dot 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 sign, no recurring sign. So, rational, it has got a terminating decimal. Presentation. So any terminating decimal presentation will be rational. 7.478478 dot 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 means non terminating. But the digits are repeating 7.478, then again 478, then it will be 478, it will go on. That means it can be written as 7.478. 7, 8 recurring over this and any recurring decimal is rational. Rational reason it has got terminating sorry it has got repeating decimal presentation repeating Re repeating it has got repeating decimal presentation this one is 1.01 1 0 it is going right now I have explained it is irrational As reason, it has got non terminating and non repeating decimal presentation. So any number which has got non-terminating, non-repeating decimal is called irrational. So this is irrational because 23 is not a perfect square. This is rational because 225 is a perfect square of 15. This is a rational number because it has got a, it has got a terminating decimal presentation. This is non-terminating, repeating and hence it is a rational number. And this is a non-terminating, non-repeating. And so it is an irrational number. So that's all for this exercise, students. Exercise 1.3, I have explained each and every sum along with the concepts. Hope you will go through this exercise. Try to do the sums by yourself. And in the next class, we will do the next exercise. Till then, goodbye students.